Thanks for joining us. I'm Blake Suniga here with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz. A look now while we have a moment. Let's take a look at our five starters for each team. WNBA, a lot of talent up and down both rosters. Yeah, these front offices did a terrific job putting their rosters together. The focus for both was on depth. And it's paid off. I mean, you're not going to see many soft spots in either of these lineups. Now here's Gray. You'll see from outside. And the three ball is good. Well, over the course of her career, Plum's three-point percentage has significantly increased. Side. It's stolen by Jackie Young. Gray outside. Wow, that's good. Yeah, a mindful decision maker. Ray always knows where she is on the court and what's around her. And when it comes to WNBA accolades, Kelsey Plum has a knack for racking them up. A champion, all-star, sixth player of the year. In fact, in her first all-star game appearance, Kelsey Plum won all-star game MVP. Few players can say they've done the same. Shot clock at six. Fires the three. Here's Jones. That savvy little up fake there, fooling the D. And that was some excellent positioning from Jones on the offensive glass, getting herself room to grab the ball and send it back. Gray outside. Wilson outside. Parked down low that time and got hit with the three second call. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Bonner with it. And stolen by Asia Wilson. Now here's Young, covered by Carrington. Young shot's good. Her position might be guard and primarily point guard, but Young can score inside. She's six feet, tough, and quite crafty. Now here's Bonner. Pass to Carrington. Now here's Jones. Carrington with the screen. Now here's Thomas. She's guarded by Wilson. From the baseline, and she comes up with the deuce. Here's Gray. Outside Young. Back to Gray. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And that's out of bounds. Las Vegas over the possessions. Substitution. Carrington. Mitchell. Carrington up top. Gray defending. The second chance effort. With the second effort. Yeah, just a force on the glass, mainly because of a good combination of strength and stamina. It's easy to tell that Thomas simply does not take plays off. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Ace is ahead. They lead by one. 
And we've got more in store for you right after this. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And uh, guys, what's your take on the Aces so far? Well, we've seen them really get out and establish an offensive rhythm. And they're finding ways to score, you know, playing well and getting good offense. Here's Bannum. Well, of course, there are different ways to build a roster, guys. But if you were in that position, how would you go about it? You start with this. We're in a salary cap league. So with that in mind, hitting on draft picks is the easiest way, especially those non-first round picks. They can give you a huge leg up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, those rookie scale contracts are so valuable. I'll throw in being smart with the salary cap, having the ability to add talent via free agency, where, you know, in that situation, you don't have to give anything up. Las Vegas trailing. Outside Young. They set the screen. Pass to Gustafsson. And she drops it in from the low post. Used her strength to get in the post without much fight from the D. They need to do a better job next time and bustle up on her. I mean, that's just too easy. And Jackie Young, the first pick in the 2019 draft, averaged just six points per game as a rookie. But she used that number as tool and motivation. And Young earning an all-star game nod in 2022, plus winning a title with the Aces, a great example of investing in yourself. Clark outside. Olsen. Outside Young. Clock at six. From deep. Bannum with the rebound. You can tell she thought that triple was gonna fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. Pass to Egbo. Now Bannum. Bonner, she's covered by Clark. Mitchell outside, puts up a three, and another three for Connecticut. And when Mitchell's threes are falling, she's nearly unguardable. There's just so much you have to account for. Timeout called the Aces.
Gray looking for her first basket still in this one. Right block shot. Oh! And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. That one on Harris. Love the crafty plays from Gray. Lures the defender in with the pump fake and earns herself a trip to the strike. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. A dead-eye outside shooter. Gray's confidence on the offensive end is what makes her so dangerous. And the Sun making a change here. And that's good as she hits both shots. And Connecticut has possession. Three-point lead. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played. They had some box coverage that turned into no coverage. And when she's open like that, you don't see her miss that sort of look very often. Outside plum. Rolls back up. Wilson finishes it off. Offensive rebounding is all about hustle for Wilson. But uh, really, it's also about leading shots, correctly anticipating the angles and the bounces. Now here's Thomas. Here's Harris. And released it in time, but it's off the mark. We're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Sun on top, up by one. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports.
are now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. I mean, without question, Plum is displaying her skills today. Even with a significant amount of extra defensive attention on her, she managed to have a sensational first half. It's amazing what she can do. But for her, it's really nothing out of the ordinary because we don't expect anything less. And I would bet she has even more in store for us during the stretch run. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break, and we'll see if one can pull away in the third. And here is Bonner, pass to Harris. Let's go with a three. That's in, coming off an assist from Dewana Bonner. Three. Such an unselfish player. Bonner is one of the best passing forwards in the WNBA, constantly looking to get everybody involved. Screen by Plum. Gray. Young. And a miss there on the triple. Harrington with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Thomas right side. Here's Jones. Rebound by the Aces. Such tough defense there against one of the better finishers in the game. Pass to Plum. Gray. Back to Plum. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. And here is Wilson. Great pass to set up the land. And when we talk about the WNBA, this is a league that is flourishing. Absolutely. I mean, ratings are way up. Hits online way up. Salaries, you guessed it, way up. I mean, everything going in the right direction. And the biggest reason, the product. These are incredible games with incredible players. The WNBA has really done a great job with giving fans what they want to see. Six to shoot. Jones left side. Kelsey Gray grabs the miss. Well, that's just not a sight we see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. Up top, Plum. Wilson outside for the lead. Harrington grabs the board. She may have been surprised to find herself so open. I mean, maybe that's why she missed. Here's Bonner. And Plum gets the whistle that time. That is her first foul of the game. The Sun making a switch here. Team foul. Substitution on the court. Pass to Carrington. Here's Bonner. Down to five on the shot clock. Mitchell with it. And Chelsea Gray with the block. Strong judgment and awareness to time that block perfectly. And, you know, as a leader, Gray is always up for a challenge. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. An emphatic rejection. You got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Las Vegas trailing. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Now Colson. Quiet so far offensively, serving for first points of the game. When Wilson gets the rock down low, it's almost automatic. So effective, Colson. And here's Bannum. to Bonner. Nelson Adota. Now Thomas. Got her with the pump fake. Just couldn't finish. She drains the three, but let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of her hand in time. 
And we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if she really... The previous play is under Yeah, review. and I'll be pretty honest. It looks pretty clear-cut on the instant replay. The ball was out of her hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. Well, I can't see how they'd come to any other conclusion. I mean, we have a great look at it on the replay. The clock is... After review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And they've overturned the call. The replay was conclusive, and that one's going to count. Good thing we have the replay to go to. I don't know what kind of impact it'll have on the final result, but you always want to get every call right. Glad we were able to review that one. Three quarters of play and a close game here. The ace is on top, up three. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for the fourth quarter. Welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Now here's Gray. Pass to Plum from downtown. Rebounded by the Sun. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I mean, the D's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Bonner shot is good. The scouting report on Bonner is probably play off a bit, but when in rhythm, he is better as a shooter. Gray with it. Young takes the three. That one is off. The Sun on offense. For three. A rebound by Gray. And here are the aces now. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Outside Plum. Outside the arc. Seeks the three pointer. One of the best skills Plum has for release. It's so fast, especially off the feet. Connecticut trailing. Here's Thomas. Pass to Harris. And she lobs up toward the rim. And it's rebounded by Jackie Young. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. That's the three five. Offensive board. Wilson with the bucket. When you need Wilson the most, she almost always delivers. Has a sense for the important moments. Honor outside. To the middle. Thomas. With the teardrop. And there's the three second violation. along two minutes gone here in the fourth ask a plump for three buries it from three-point range you know some players you give that shot to but let me be clear she is not one of them terrible job by the defense and the sun call time here
side. Thomas. Up top bomber. Can they get it? Las Vegas grabs the miss. And they are this close to putting it away. Yeah, and they don't need to do anything special, just take time off the clock. And most importantly, don't turn it over. Yeah, don't pull up Tim. <laughs> Second chance shot. Wilson. An amazing finish with a hand right in her face. I'd say that's it, guys. Uh, they're not coming back to this one. Nope. Any chance of that happening has long since passed. And we're still here. Bonner, good. With Bonner's ability to keep defenders guessing, she can surprise opponents with her pull-up jumper. Now Plum. Three-pointer. Good on the three-point shot. This is a serious team clinching run they're on. They are just not backing off, and they're going to close this one out in style. What a surge. Give them credit just to, to finish this one off. Kept alive. Pass to Carrington. Here's the three. So it's the Aces winning this one easily. A confident win, and one where they clearly show the greater effort. And they put on a show here at home. I think they had felt like they had the edge and an extra. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.